long line snake around the student union in Ann Arbor. Just take a look at that. Folks, as far as the eye can see, President Obama will be on the Michigan campus tomorrow to talk about education, and people started lining up last night to get tickets. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards talked to people who brave the cold to get a ticket. I got a golden ticket. Songs and smiles as relieved students and others in the community received their free ticket to hear President Obama speak. For some, the wait started at 11 p.m. Wednesday, at least 10 hours in the cold. They stayed bundled in blankets and sleeping bags. Uh, it's been like camping out without a tent and in the cold <laughs> with a lot of other people here. It was pretty cool. There was like a dance party going on at like 2 in the morning over there. Um, we kind of took a bunch of gear, we layered, we got a bunch of blankets, and so we tried as hard as we could, but to be honest, it was freezing. <laughs> yeah. Would you do it again? Yeah, I would. I would. I'm really excited to see the president. The president will be speaking at the Al Glick Fieldhouse tomorrow on Michigan's campus. This reminded me of the back when JFK spoke in the steps of the Union and all the activism back in the 60s. We're like, we're finally doing something as university students. So Hundreds of people surrounded the student union, making it a challenge to get to class. Even Michigan quarterback Denard Robinson had trouble finding a hole to scamper through. Many who waited in line didn't sleep much. In the end, they were ready for some much-needed rest. I'm very exhausted, and right now all I'm thinking about is going to take a nap and then waking up and getting to Spanish class and then taking another nap. And those who wait in a long line today expect to wait in a very long line again tomorrow. The event starts at 9.35 a.m., and heavy security is expected. In Ann Arbor, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. The 3,000 tickets went fast. They were all gone by 1.05 this afternoon.